Hey everybody, welcome to another video of Monica Burns Art. <clears throat> Today I'm doing a painting and um, I left resin in here overnight. Ah, look at that. Just pops right out. That's why I like using these. I get these from the dollar store. Um, I usually turn them upside down on the plastic and then when it dries, you could just, I squeeze it and then they, it pops right out. And you can use it again and again and again. Today I am working on a round pine, which is really soft wood. So you have to prime it like at least two to three times with either house paint or wood sealer or something heavy duty. I did put a um, coat of resin over top, but I still have some pits because the pine breathes and it breathes through the resin, believe it or not, and creates all these little tiny bubbles. So I sanded it to get it ready for this coat. And hopefully it's done breathing, doing its thing. I still see a little hole here. It's a little concerning, but you know, hopefully I can work out of it. I'm using a cup of hardener and a cup of resin. Today I am using three colors. I am using Resin Art Purple Galaxy and Resin Art Fantasy Fuchsia. Okay, and White Farm Resin Obsession. This is an ink. Okay, today I primed this gray and white, but I'm actually going to go over it with pure white. I like the gray and the white, but not for the colors I'm going to use today. If the gray pops through a little bit, that would be cool. up too much of this so I'm gonna have to get one of my molds out and make something I only wanted a few drops of it. I don't know what I was thinking maybe I'll make some coasters I don't know I don't know what I'm thinking Do I want to do half the board? Maybe I'll do that since I have so much mixed up. I was just going to do like a thing through it. But because I have so much pigment mixed up, I'll do half the board. This is glittery. It's pretty. Man, I love these two colors together. nice all right I'm just gonna um mix these together and see what I get Holy cow, what I touched. I touched something purple. I did indeed.
I'm not loving it. Know what it is? I like these two colors together usually, but not, I don't know. It needs something. Maybe this is what we need. Purple sapphire. That's pretty. Wow. That's real pretty. Okay. Damn, this is really pretty. Okay. Let's see if this helps at all. I probably got too much of that. Huh? Yep. And I took over. Son of a bitch. Son of a B watch Archie. That's the color I like. That's the color I really like. I love this purple because it's shimmery. Just the purple, purple galaxy. It's pretty. It's shimmery. It's very shimmery. So I, I, I'm very happy with this color because it gives it that pop of shimmer. Now this I like because it's almost looking against these colors, which is really cool. It's making it pop. I need to put a little bit up here. Give it something. Need a little some color, some lightness up here. Okay, and uh, where's my purple? Purple sapphire. This is one pretty color. It is indeed. Oh fuck! What am I doing? I already touch everything. I like that little hint of white coming through this. That's why I'm putting the white, drizzling the white on there. I don't like this little sapphire, purple sapphire I got there. So hopefully when I heat it up, it'll go away. Ain't that pretty? pretty right?
I don't want that vein there. I mean, I like the white, but I don't want the vein, the actual vein. Or do I? I think I do. I'm looking at the camera going down. It looks pretty awesome. Okay, I'm loving it. Oh, what the? Mmm. Is it all falling, you guys? I really don't like putting my personal life out there too much, but unfortunately, um, I haven't been feeling too good lately and it's starting to affect my videos and my work. So I just wanted to let you know, um, I had thyroid cancer a few years back and they took my thyroid out. I take thyroid replacement medicine and I didn't have my thyroid checked in about a year and apparently I was on too much medicine and it put me into a thyroid storm, which put me into seizures, which put me into intensive care, unfortunately. Um, that was in December 2018. It is now June 2019, and I'm still battling what is going on with me for some weird reason. So hopefully I'll get better soon and my work will start looking better. That's my goal. Thank you to all my um, sponsors and people who have donated to my channel because it definitely helps me go in. I'll wait till it cures and I'll put a heavy coat of clear and then that will be that. I'm gonna put this in my drying room real quick. It's starting to get dust because my garage door is open. So there it is. See that bubble right there? That's the pine still breathing because I did not put three or four coats of paint on there usually I do but for, and there's another one right there usually I do but this time I didn't and live and learn I thought two coats would be enough but guess what not enough it is pine wood it's very soft wood so when you paint it to prime it for your painting make sure that you put at least three coats of either house paint or spray paint on it so if you liked my video, please hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and ring that bell for notifications.